did God inspire that fact to Mirza that Jesus is alive in the heavens and will return before the end times? Jesus, the son of Mary. If God did inspire Barahini Ahmadiyya and if God did inspire that particular information to Mirza, then why did God change his mind? Allah never said Isa is alive ever. In his own books, he says, I never said this based on Ilham. This is normal. This was his own view. Now, Adnan Rashid said, this means God's changing his mind. It's absurd that someone who believes in abrogation of the Quran is raising such an allegation. He believes Allah does change his mind. Mirza said, Jesus will return. He's alive in the heavens and he will return. So Qadianis are, they are stuck in a quagmire, they cannot get out of this. According to the Quran, an authentic a hadith and ijma of Sahaba, Hazrat Isa Lesam has died and will never return. I presented this ayah last time too. Adnan failed to respond. In the end of Surah Al Maida, Allah says about Hazrat Isa Lesam, Audu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajim, Bismillah Ar Rahim, that on Yom Al Qiyamah, Allah will say to Isa Lesam, A anta kulta li nasit ta khiduni wa ummiya ilahaini min dunin la, that did you see the people worship you and your mother as gods besides Allah? Hazrat Isa Lesam makes it clear that. I did not tell them illa ma amartani bihi anibudullah rabbi wa rabbakum. I only told them worship Allah alone. Wa kuntu alayhim shahidam ma dumtu fihim. And I was a witness over them as long as I remained among them. For lama to a faith and he kuntanta rakib alayhim. After you caused me to die, only you know what happened. This ayah Hazrat Isa on Qiyamah makes it clear that the shirk of the Christians began after my death, not while I was alive. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa in Bukhari kitab al tafsir under Surah Al Maidah explains that the faith in here is death. Allah says in the Quran, Allah is only the taking of soul. This is happening on Qiyamah. Rasulullah makes it clear that it's death. Number two, in the same Quran, Allah says, Inni mutawafika wa rafiu kailaya. Hazrat Muhammad Sallam was revealed the Quran. It says, "O Isa Sallam, I will cause you to die. Then do your rafa." According to the Quran, these are four promises Allah is making. The first promise is mutawafika. The second and third are rafiu ka wa mutahruka. Adnan accepts the latter three. Why does he not accept the first promise given in the promises of Allah? In Sahih Al Bukhari, Kitab Al Tafsir, the Qaul of Nabi Sallam is clear that the tawafa of Isa Sallam is death. Ibn Abbas the most authentic chain said mutawafika mumituka. So the death of Isa is clear. Allah says in the Quran the shirk of the Nasara began after the death of Isa not while he was alive. This is a muhkam ayah of the Quran. Adnan has to respond to this. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah Razi was thinking I'm gonna run away from this topic I'm gonna shiver and I'm gonna have a fever and then I'm gonna have some uh, anti-fever and antiviral tablets and I'm gonna say none of that okay I have so much on this he will be buried alive from his own Mirza Mirza in Barahini Ahmadiyya he writes that Isa is alive in the heavens and he will return before the end of times. Mirza wrote this in his book, Barahine Ahmadiyya. And Mirza states about Barahine Ahmadiyya that this book is God inspired. God inspired me to write this book. Allahu Akbar. Think about it. Mirza is writing the correct Sunni view in his book, Barahine Ahmadiyya. And then he also claims that God inspired this book and every single word of this book is protected by God. And if that's the case, did God inspire that fact to Mirza that Jesus is alive in the heavens and will return before the end times? Jesus, the son of Mary. If God did inspire Barahini Ahmadiyya and if God did inspire that particular information to Mirza, then why did God change his mind? God cannot change historic facts having described them. It's like God saying in the Quran that Musa a.s. was dealing with Fir'aun and then later on in the same Quran, or in the hadith, we are told Musa was actually dealing with, dealing with the, the, the Nimrod, okay, the, or, or the Persian king, okay? <laughs> That's not a God you can believe in because clearly this is not God. Because God tells us, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Afala yatadabbaroon al-Quran, walau kana min indi ghayrillah, la wajadu fihi ikhtalafan kathira. That do you not ponder upon the Quran, if this was from any other source than Allah, you would have found ikhtalafan kathira, a lot of discrepancies and contradictions. So Mirza, 
claims God inspired this information to him and then later on same God contradicts this information by telling me, hold on a second, you know what, Time's I made a mistake, Time's I made a mistake, uh, actually Jesus did die and he died in Kashmir and you're the, the, the promised Messiah. So so respond to my points, is, don't he, play games. Why are you cutting off, restart Sorry. the time, yeah, yeah. he has this habit. <laughs> so the first point is, Hazrat Ahmed Al-Assam nowhere said that all of Brahim Ahmadiyya is Wahi. He makes it clear from the start that Brahim Ahmadiyya, I wrote this as that was the general view of the Muslims. Allah never said Isa is alive ever. In his own books, he says, I never said this based on Ilham. This is normal. This was his own view. Now, Adnan Rashid said, this means God's changing his mind. It's absurd that someone who believes in abrogation of the Quran is raising such an allegation. He believes Allah does change his mind. Number one. Number two, Albani said, Daluna anil haq for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa That when Allah said, well, what did the Qadal and Pahada? It means Nabi Sism was Daluna anil haq. He was misguided. Now the Billah, we say this is blasphemy and the Kufr of Fatwa is on such people. Number two, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's life. Look at what Nabi Sallallahu said. He said, La tufadiluni ala Musa. La tukhayiruni ala Yunus bin Matta. Then he says, Ana khatmun nabin. And I'm the master of the children of Adam on the day of judgment. This is, does this mean Allah changed his view about Nabi Sassam? Of course not. It says in the Quran, Wa ma yantiku anil hawa in huwa illa wahyun yuha. Then we have Nabi Sassam. He was praying for Abdullah bin Ubay bin Sulul after he died. Allah said, even if you pray 70 times, you won't forgive him. Umar radiallahu anhu said, Oh Allah's Rasul, Allah stopped you. Nabi Sassam kept praying. Then Allah said, Do not ever pray for them. This was his own view of that ayah. Hazrat Ahmad al gave that interpretation there. This was his own view. Allah corrected him like he corrected Nabi Sassam over here. Nabi Sassam for so many years prayed towards Baytul Maqdis. Was that from Allah that prayed towards Baytul Maqdis? He has to show from the Quran. It's nowhere there. The Kaaba was what Allah instructed to. Till the Wahi doesn't come, the Anbiya follow the general way. This is in Bukhari and many other books that Nabi said, I followed Bani Sail and much of what he said. This was the view of the ulama and this was a prophecy. Allah the Almighty corrected as a time lesson. Now the verse I quoted, he never answered it. The shirk began after Isa lesson died and I gave the meaning of the Wafaitani from Sahih al-Bukhari. He'll run Miracles around the Quran. You took 15 extra seconds, so why are you oh, cutting me off okay, again? Sorry, My that. point is, I'm quoting Quran or Hadith. He's running to Brahim and <laughs> in which I give Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa examples as well, where he said something, then Allah corrected him. Even Azabi Kabir, he said, We're not going to be punished. Then the why he came, that you won't time be punished. Okay. Give him 10 extra seconds. <laughs> okay. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. So Mirza in Aina Kamalat Islam. Page 847 states, Phir ye kitab barahin ahmadiyya nusrat din ke jazba se likhwai gai thi. Okay. Then Mirza goes on to say, Ishtahar mulhikka, Sarmai chashm, chashmai aria, Surmai chashmai aria. Safa 3, okay. Page 3, he states, Kitab barahin ahmadiyya ko khuda ta'ala ki taraf se muallif ne mulhim aur mamur ho kar bagarz e islaw tajdeed, tajdeed e din talif kiya hai that the author has written this book after ilham from Allah. Allah has made him mulhim from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, okay? And mamur, mamur is that he's been appointed by Allah. First, there are two words here, mulhim and mamur. Mulhim is ilham. Ilham, which is revelation to the Qadianis, that Allah sent down revelation upon Mirza to write this book, okay? And then he's Ma'mur as well, that he's appointed by God to do this, okay? Then on top of that, it says, in Rohani Khazain, volume, uh, in Rohani Khazain, uh, volume 1, page 673, Mirza says, So ab is kitab ka mutawalli, or muhtimim, now God, basically, now the, the protector and the organizer of this book, Zahiran o Batinan, Apparently, and uh, in, um, uh, sorry, Zahir and Batin, uh, apparent and hidden, uh, meaning Hazrat Rabbul Alameen hai. God is the apparent and hidden um, protector of this book. This is Brahini Ahmadiyya. And in this book, Mirza said, Jesus will return. He is alive in the heavens and he will return. So Qadianis are, they are stuck in a quagmire. They cannot get out of this because the book was inspired by God 
And if that's true, Time's up. okay, uh, and all the things, okay. I'm going to take some extra seconds, you can take some. Uh, and all the evidence he presented was from the Nasik and Mansukh. God does not reveal a historic fact and then contradict it. That's not from the Nasik and Mansukh. That's a contradiction. That's a mistake. That's a lie. He cannot say 1 plus 1 equals 2 and then he says later on 1 plus 1 equals 3. That doesn't make sense. That's not God Almighty. What the examples he's given, uh, giving are correcting mistakes and errors and Nasik and Masuk, not changing a historic fact. Okay, he tells you Alexander, Alexander lived, lived in the 4th century BC and then God reveals again. No, no, no. Actually, he lived in the 7th century BC. Now, this is not from the Nasek and Mansu and correcting mistakes. Okay. This is a historical Three. error which God cannot do. Okay, yeah. so he took Give him two minutes 50. 50, okay? 50 yeah. So yeah. let's start. So I'll start where he ended. He said Nasik Mansuk isn't about historical things. He didn't answer any examples I gave of Nabi Sassam saying, you know, do not give me superiority, the example of Abdullah bin Ubay bin Salul and whatnot. Hazrat Ahmed Asim never said Isa Asim is alive, was revealed by Allah. On Iza in Izala Ohami makes it clear that Ispe Ilhami Fasa Kuchne Yuwa Brahim. He never said every single word in Brahim is Ilham. Yes, he said he's Mamur. So I ask Adnan a question. Mulhim. Why are you cutting me off? No, no, Mamur and Mulhim. Yes. Mulhim. Mulhim. Mamur okay. and Mulhim. Yeah. When Ibrahim Alaihissalam was preaching to his idol, uh, to his uh, the, the disbelievers in his time, was he Mulhim or no? Continue. I'll he respond. won't answer. I'll he, respond. Was, he was Mamur and he was Mulhim. His Sanaula Amritsari says that when Ibrahim Alaihissalam was saying Hadha Rabbi, that was actually him saying Hadha Rabbi. According to his belief, these Ambiya did Shirk al Akbar. Now the Billah Min Zalik. Hazrat Tehmalaihissalam never said this was Wahi al Ham ever regarding Isa Alaihissalam being alive. Second thing, he believes that Adam Alaihissalam did Shirk. It's in Kitab al Tawheed of Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab that he had a son, he named him something and did Shirk. So his belief is Ambiya even did shirk before they were appointed. And the Salafi books are clear on this. Then he said that, you know, historic facts. Look, Nabi Sallallahu he was Ma'amur, he was Mulhim. Did he stop the Sahaba from drinking? No, he didn't. Did he stop them from Mutta? No, he did. Only when the Wahi came, he corrected. Does this mean Allah originally taught Nabi Sallallahu that you should teach them to drink and now the Billah have Mutta, now the Billah? Of course not. There was no hukam that came here. It wasn't based on Ilham or Wahi, even though Wa ma yantiku anil hawa. Do you say that Nabi Sallallahu was teaching the Sahaba to drink because he didn't stop them? When the Wahi comes, the Nabi makes it clear. Same with this belief of Hayati. He said it was not from Wahi or Ilham. Never did Hazrat Amla Sam claim that. On the same page, he only mentioned one of his ilham. He says, I am called Masih. That was the ilham in Brahim. That's what he says was what he, we affirm that. He says, Allah told me I'm Masih Masih. As for Hayati Masih, he never ever said that this is based on ilham. I give you example of Quran being revealed to Nabi Sassam. He, while Quran was being revealed to him, Nabi Sassam was still praying to Bayat al There's no what he came about that. Allah never said in the Quran that uh, Sahaba should be drinking. But because the wahi didn't come here, he didn't forbid it. This doesn't mean, oh, when someone is mulhim or ma'amur, they cannot make mistakes. This is clear in Nabi Sassam's life that when the command come, then he stopped them. Because he would follow Bani Israel in some things. When the command came, he would switch. As you see, it happened with azab e -Kabr. Someone said, there's no azab e, uh, azab -e -Kabr will be on... Muslims, Nabi Sassam said, no, it's on you. Then why he came that no, Muslims will also face a Zabi cover. So while being a Mulhim, if you make a mistake, this is normal. Noah Lassam was building his boat for 80 years and then when his Time's son up. drowned, then he was corrected that your son will be, okay. your son is in a family. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I told Rosie not to stop the, start this topic and now Rosie is paying the price, okay? Because he is now, he doesn't know what to do, okay? Because his own prophet wrote in a book which Mirza claimed is from Ilham when Mirza said that God appointed him to write this book and made him mulhim. Ilham, he gave him revelation to write this book and this book is revealed. Okay, that means the book is from Allah. And the examples, why is that? If that's not the case, why is he giving all those examples of Nasik and Mansukh? Why is he giving those examples of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealing the hukam of uh, forbidding wine gradually? That example does not apply. Guess what? Because none of, none of these examples give us uh, something where Allah revealed a fact of history exactly. and then contradicted it later. No, actually, you know, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. The question is, and I keep saying, not everything was from Ilham in Barahini Ahmadiyya. So you're disowning parts of it, huh? You're disowning parts of the book now. 
Allah says in the Quran, are you going to accept part of the book and reject the other? This is what munafiks do. This is what hypocrites do. Now you're disowning part of his book. You know why? Because it bites you. You wanted that topic? Here is that topic. Okay. What does Mirza say about this book? In Brahini Ahmadiyya, page 1. 136 Mirza himself writes ye kitab muhimmat e diniya ki ke tehreer karne mein naqis ul bayan nahi this book in describing explaining the important aspects of our religion is not lacking balki wo tamam sadaqatein rather all those truths ke jin par asool e asool e ilm e din ke must jin pe asool ilm e din ke mushtamil hain all those important facts and truths upon which our religion is standing Okay, the principles. Okay, I'm going to take some extra time. Or what the mam hakaik and all those facts. Hakaik ke aliya ke jin ki hayat istamai ka naam Islam hai. All those facts that are called Islam. Wo sab isme maktub hai. All of those. All, 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 all. Repeatedly saying all, all, all. Maktub hai. Or markum hai. And have been transcribed in it. So he's saying, Mirza saying, everything in this book is from the important things of deen. Okay, these are all the truths and these are all the facts. All. That includes the fact that Isa alayhi salam is alive in the heavens and he came, he will come down at the end of times. So Mirza is owning all of it. <coughs> Razi is throwing most of it. He's saying, no, 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 no. All of it not was inspir inspir inspired. Parts of the book were inspired. Other parts were not inspired because Allah contradicted those parts later on. Audu billah, tam audu billah. Over Three to minutes. Three minutes. Yalla, go. Okay, firstly, he said that Hazrat Tehmanasam was mulhim and mamur, and I explained that he alasam never claimed this aspect was from wahi. On that same page, he says, Allah told me I'm masili masih. That was the wahi of Allah. Not that Isa alasam is alive. Never did Hazrat Tehmanasam claim Allah told him Isa alasam is alive. Adnan's claim is that anything a prophet does while he's ma'mur and mulhim is from Allah. Then according to him, Nabi Sassam was told by Allah to allow alcohol. Nabi Sassam was told by Allah to let Sahaba be and do mutta. Now the billah min zalik. According to Adnan Rashid, Nabi Sassam taught all these things because he was ma'mur and uh, mulhim min Allah at that time. When Nabi Sassam in Bukhari, that? why are you cutting me off? T stop time. 10 extra seconds. Are you done cutting me out? Okay, 20 okay. extra seconds. Go on. Then Nabi says <laughs> when the first way he came, he said, Khashitu Allah nafsi. I feel for myself. His own Mufassirin write that this was because Nabi says felt that perhaps this might be a satanic influence. That was also why he ilham from Allah because he was already Mahmood. Not only that, I give him the example of Ibrahim alayhi salam. Hada Rabbi, his Mufassirin believe he actually worshipped the star and sun. So he was a mushrik now, the Billah Min Zalik. He has to believe that was taught by Allah because wa ma yantiku anil hawa is for every Nabi. They do not speak their own being. Ibrahim alayhi was already mulhim and he was already ma'mur. Then also the concept of um, uh, Abdul Wahab, Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab in Kitab al Tawheed mentions that Adam alayhi disobeyed Allah and named his son something and did shirk with Allah. According to Adnan Rashid, Adam alayhi did that while being mulhim. Nuh alayhi salam building his boat telling the people that Allah will protect my son and family while being mulhim he misinterpreted that wahi according to Adnan Allah told Nuh alayhi salam your son will survive he ended up drowning. This is the quagmar Adnan has put your entire firqa in. According to him whenever Nabi says something while he's ma'mur or mulhim then it's from Allah the Almighty. This is Blasphemous. He threw all the ulama under the bus of source. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajun. Today he threw all the ambiya under the bus. That while mulhim and mamur, if they made a mistake, it's from Allah Almighty Himself. So what do we say about such a belief? I am free of it. Notice how I brought Quran. I brought Sahih Bukhari. He will not dare discuss Quran with me. He's thrown the Quran behind his back. He's Muslim by name. Khud nahi badalte Quran ko badal dete hain. That is Adnan Rashid. He cannot answer any of this. He's claimed that to say you're mulhim and ma'mur, everything is from Allah. He threw Rasulullah under the bus. Now the Billah Min Zalik. This is his condition. To attack Hazrat Ahmed he threw Khatam al-Nabiyyin away. Now you know when 
Sahaba early on did some things which Allah forbid gradually. All of that is from Allah because Rasulullah was Mahmud. Do you Muslims believe this? If not, why do you take him for a scholar? This is blasphemous. I'm sorry, but I'm shocked that he brought this muqaddama for he believes Nabi Sism believed his body so, was all Satan. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Razi is doing this to himself. He brought this upon himself. Okay, don't blame me, guys. I didn't want to discuss this topic, but Razi brought this upon himself. He now give examples. Uh, did Allah command uh, the the uh, the, for, look, first of all, the example is giving of wine and muta and why did the Prophet allow that? The Prophet did not allow that. This was already going on and Allah revealed his hurma. Okay, the Prophet did not have ilmul ghaib. We don't believe the Prophet ﷺ had his own intrinsic knowledge. Allah revealed upon him, but Allah never contradicted it is the question. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not reveal a historic fact and then change it. Allah didn't say Dhulkar Nain lived 1000 BC and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals another verse saying Dhulkar Nain lived 500 BC. This would be a contradiction in the Quran mathematically and this would render the Quran a lie. Just like the Bible has mathematical contradictions. Why do we say to the Christians the Bible is changed and it's corrupted? Because it has mathematical contradictions. In one place it says one thing and in another place it contradicts itself mathematically. We are talking about Mirza uh, contradicting himself having stated that Isa from Ilham. Now he keeps mentioning and I read a quote again from the Mirza that every single thing in this book, all truth is there. All facts are there. All important things in the deen are there. I quoted, I quoted from Mirza. He doesn't want to address it. He landed himself into this and now he's enjoying it. I'm sure he's enjoying it. Okay, so Mirza is the person you need to deal with. Before you come to us, Wafatul Masih, Wafatul, you need to go and deal with Mirza first. What the hell is he doing to you guys? First he tells us, from Ilham, he says, Allah made me mulhim and ma'moor. Allah made me someone who receives revelation on this book, very book. Actually, he's talking about this very book. Okay, he's not even talking about this, his larger collection of writings. He's saying this very book came from Ilham and it has all the important facts, all the important ahkam uh, uh, of, the, of Islam up. in there. Okay, so not knowing his son, Nuh alayhi salam, not, not saying his son. Nuh alayhi salam did not have revelation. Ilham doesn't mean that everything is told to them, gets sent down to them in one package. No, they receive revelation from time. Mirza received revelation. There's a difference. No, not, not, not knowing that his son is a kafir is a different thing because Allah never told him that, right? Allah never told him that. But Mirza was told that Isa is alive in the heavens and he will come down near the end of times. But then Mirza goes on later on and says, no, actually, you know what? Okay. Uh, time that is was up. a mistake. Time that is was up. wrong. Okay, yeah. Adnami, before I start my time, you just said Hazrat Ahmad was told Isa is alive. Say it on oath right now. I'll give you the Quran. Do you want the Quran? I'll read it right now. Hey. Where he said uh, Allah why do you want oath? Yeah, I'm yeah, going to yeah, read yeah. it now. That Allah told me Isa yeah, I, is alive. Yeah, I, Jismani or Siyasat Mulki ke tor par Hazrat Masih ke haq mein پیشن گوئی ہے جس غلبہ کاملہ دین اسلام کا وعدہ دیا گیا ہے وہ غلبہ مسیح کے ذریعے سے زہر میں آئے گا اور جب اور جب حضرت مسیح علیہ السلام دوبارہ اس دنیا میں تشریف لائیں گے تو ان کے ہاتھ سے دین دین اسلام جمعی افاق اور اکتار میں پھیل جائے گا I am, what, do you understand my claim? I understand I, your claim. Okay, let me start, you start, start my claim. I'm going to talk in my own time. time. I just read from Mirza. Okay. Mirza okay. saying that okay. Masih al-Islam will come back. He's not saying I, I will come back. Anambe, He's saying Masih al-Islam will come back. Where something? will he come back from? You okay. can if you and, want. And he will do exactly what we say he will do. Don't so worry. You know, these guys, they come and tell us, you believe in a barbaric Messiah. He'll come and mess. That's what he's saying. Mirza saying that. I'll explain that. Do you allow this round? This is the this fifth, is the fifth round. Yes. So he started, so he's starting the fifth, fifth round. round. Okay. Fifth, are you sure? Yeah. Fifth and fifth, fifth and fifth sixth and, and sixth, sixth and seven and seven. Yeah. Okay. The, the, are you sure you want to continue? Yes, okay. of course. You're enjoying it. You're being buried <laughs> mentally <laughs> and spiritually. So Please come and, uh, yeah. Adnan, can you put me out? He's burying me. Yeah. It's a fifth round. So okay, so firstly, he <laughs> lied against Hazrat Ahmed Asam. He said, Allah, he said that Allah told me Isa Asam is alive. He put the Brahim there. Nothing like that is mentioned. 
You're cutting off again. Restart the time. This Restart is the time. But the I'm saying he was mulahim. Okay, I'm going to adjust that. And now. I read the I'm quote. I'm going to adjust yeah. that. Start the time. So yeah. the, you don't need but to cut off. I know where, it's your where word. Was the I know from? you're upset. I know you're yeah. upset. You're being buried, but don't <laughs> cut me off. Upset, Start the time. Start where was the, the alarm coming Start from? Shaitan or Allah? Start the time. You're some Allah. Start. Okay. But he's 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 the don't cut me off. Don't cut me off. people are idiots. I know what people are. Look, people are fools. Why do you have to cut me off? Tora or bolne, bolne de or bolne. Yeah, acha bol bolne. Me keh raha hu ki Mirza keh raha hai ki. I am appointed by God and I am inspired to write this book and this book contains all the truth all the uh, the facts and all the important ahkam of the deen yeah. and then Mirza saying Isa alayhi salam will come back and he will spread the deen in the world just like we the Sunnis believe but they come back and say to us you guys believe in a barbaric messiah who will come and kill and massacre and do this she and that but Mirza, Mirza wrote that from okay, Ilham are you done are Mirza, you done yeah this is what I'm saying is this yeah. enough time for you to not cut me off no yeah or will you cut me off? You, you asked well. me to speak. No, so. but do you want, are you going to let me speak now? Of course. Okay, Jazakla, please don't cut me off. Let's have civilized okay. conversation. Of course, we're okay. civilized. Okay. Look, look, I have nothing Just but sympathy and compassion for this guy. Too, so we, we get passionate. We okay, get passionate. look, let me speak now. Guys, so, by the way, don't get it wrong. Our passion doesn't mean we hate each other, okay? All the Ahmadis, Qadianis, and Muslims, and Sunnis, and all of all people, just know this is nothing hateful. We have nothing but respect and compassion for each other. Okay, so just, this is, okay. These are, these are so very the is, charged topics. The point is, Adnan Rashid lied. He said, Hazrat Ahmed has written that Allah told me Isa is alive in the skies with his body. Qiyamat can come, but he can never bring that reference. Then he said, oh, I never said that it's on record now. I know you lie and then forget, but it's all on record. You said he wrote his mulhim and mamur. We accept. This is why I asked you some questions. When Ibrahim said, Hada Rabbi, was he mamur? Was he mulhim? Yes or no? When Nabi says, a Nabi shan is he doesn't let his sahaba do anything wrong. When Nabi Sassam some Sahaba drank, was Nabi Sassam mulhim and mamur or no? The point is he was under divine revelation and he didn't stop them. This shows some things are revealed gradually. It doesn't mean Allah revealed to Nabi Sassam that sharab is allowed even though Not only this, I gave the example of Hazrat Adam Sassam, naming his son something and doing shirk according to his Mujaddid Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab. He was mulhim and mamur. He still did it. His belief is while being mulhim and mamur, they did shirk. So he needs to answer these questions. Then he said Allah changed his mind. Allah never told Hazrat Muhammad Isa is alive. On the same page Allah told him Yir Mathili Masi. That was the ilham not that Isa is alive. He said Nuh Alaihissalam wasn't re receiving revelation. This is a lie on Quran now. First he threw the Anbiya under the bus then his Ulama, now the Quran is gone too. It says in the Quran that Allah told Nuh Alaihissalam that I will protect you and your family. While he was mulhim and mamur, he still believed his son will be protected. Was that shaitani ilham? His logic says yes, Nuh Alaihissalam was getting shaitani ilham. And these are all distractions just to make you turn away from Quran because he can't believe the Quran. I gave a verse in the start. How much time did Adnan Bay quote the Quran? Zero. He says, we threw with the Quran. They have nothing to do with the Quran. I'm here in Imam Bukhari center. He threw Imam Bukhari away as well. I give the faith and the meaning from Rasulullah in Bukhari authentic sanad. He didn't dare open it in Imam Bukhari center. He's throwing away Imam Bukhari. Rahmallah. Start. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. They spin the Quran. They put a meaning to the Quran that is not there. In fact, their own prophet, Mirza said, a fly can die using the word moth, and if you put it under salt, it will come back to life. Literally, wallahi, I'm quoting the words. And when they were hit by this fact that this is actually hibernation, that is not death, they started to play games with the word moth, and they said moth here means actually sleep. Moth means sleep. So moth, which only means death, can mean sleep, and tawaffa, which can also mean a number of other things, only means death when it comes to Jesus in the Quran. So that's your Quran and your understanding. Your understanding is batil, it is based upon a lie, and it is following a liar like Mirza. And why am I saying Mirza is a liar? Why am I saying? Because Mirza, he's saying, from Ilham, Allah revealed to me, and Allah, Allah, Allah inspired me to write this book, and all of this book is factual, truthful, and all the important, muhimmat deen he said, Muhammad Deen, all the important things of religion are there. All, 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 all. Tamam, 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 okay? All, all, all. All means all. If that means all, this guy is stuck. He doesn't know what to do. And now he's playing games. He's not doing this and he's doing the Prophet believed this and the Prophet did shirk. All of these are red herrings and all distractions deliberately taking people away from the, the actual topic. 
مرزا ہنسلف روٹ ان براہین احمدیہ عیسیٰ علیہ السلام از کمنگ بیک فرام ویئر مسیح علیہ السلام وچ مسیح از ہی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ ہم سیلف کمنگ بیک فرام ویئر دس از عیسیٰ علیہ السلام کمنگ بیک دین نیئر دا اینڈ آف ٹائمس اینڈ ہی ایکسپلینس واٹ از ہی گوئنگ ٹو ڈو ہی از گوئنگ ٹو ڈو ایگزیکٹلی وٹ وی بلیو ان بٹ دین لیٹر آن وین ہی ڈسائڈیڈ دیٹ ہی وانٹس ٹو بی دا مسایا ہی ہیز ٹو کل دا ریئل مسایا ریئل مسایا ہیز ٹو ڈائی جیزز ہیز ٹو ڈائی سو ہی کلز جیزز کرائسٹ ہی کلز ہم to resurrect himself as the Messiah. And then he says, oh no, you know, God, Allah changed his mind. Actually, he inspired me, but now he changed his mind and he's telling Time's me up. after Jesus uh, Time's died Time's and you're the Messiah. Time's up. Time's up. Yeah. Okay, so is this sixth turn or seventh turn? This is the last one. Last one, I'm proceeding. And then I'm coming. Okay. What are you going to do now? So oh, again, Jesus. Adnan Rashid lied. He started with saying, Hazrat Ahmed Hassan used Moth Majazi in his own books. He explains that Yaa Moth Majazi. You're cutting so, so, me off against start again. This is his so, habit. He, so, he knows he's being sorry, buried funny, mentally, funny. spiritually, <laughs> and academically, which is why he has to do this. Listen, do I'm, I cut listen, him off? I'm, I'm, do I'm I cut just, him off, brother? I'm just You're a social guy. You know, I don't like, ever cut you off. Sorry, you know, sorry. this is sorry, your Rajiv, tactic. I apologize. It doesn't bother two me. Two minutes, okay. last two minutes. Mot Majazi, remember everyone. Okay. So, Hazrat <laughs> Ahmed al explains that this is a Mot Hakiki for the flies. So, he lied against Hazrat Ahmed al again. Then he says that, Hazrat Ahmed al says, all Zururiyat al-Din. On that same page, he says, Allah told me I'm Mafili Masih in Hua Illa Wahyu Yuha includes everything as well this is their own Aqidah as well when Hazrat Nuh A.S. was Ma'amur Min Allah he prophesied his family will be saved while he was Ma'amur his son drowned he found out after his son drowned some of his ulama say 80 years after according to him who was revealing that this is his logic it was shaitan according to Adnan Rashid I say it was Allah but Hazrat Nuh A.S. wasn't directly told his son would be saved Allah just said family and he meant spiritual family Hazrat Ibrahim A.S. he still didn't address it Hadha Rabbi he was ma'amur min Allah and he was saying Hadha Rabbi to the star and said we don't believe he did shirk This is not our belief. I'm giving him ilzami jawab what Sanaula Amr said he wrote in Tafsir Sanai. So this is another mistake of his. He believes that while Nabi is ma'mur, he is doing shirk as well. Shirk akbar. He doesn't even know who Allah is. Then his other mujadid Albani, he says, Daluna anil haq. Nabi says him is dal. Nauzubillah. In the sense of misguided, but it's fine. The wahi hadn't come yet. He believes while they're ma'mur, they can believe shaitanic wahi is coming as well. His books are full of it. Bin Baz wrote it as well. So this is his belief that who's ma'mur, he's getting satanic wahi. He's being trolled about his son that he'll be saved. This is not how prophethood works. Allah never told Hazrat Ahmed ever that Isa is alive. The first wahi regarding life for death said he is dead and he is not coming back he also tried to say that it's, it says all 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 in huwa illa wahyun yuha all is wahi it doesn't mean that these ijtihadi ears Allah told Nabi Sassam that you know this is gonna happen in Hudaybiyah still go doesn't mean that so this is a lie of Adnan he believes Ibrahim was mulhim mamur while doing that he was still doing shirk now the billah alcohol he gave many examples he didn't address while mamur min Allah he was mamur Nabi Sassam still didn't stop Okay. to him according to him up, Allah was my teaching Nabi says him to teach Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim yeah last two minutes Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim ijtahadi error did you hear that ijtahadi error so Mirza made an ijtahadi error saying that Jesus will come back and he will do X, Y and Z how can that be an ijtahadi error ijtahad is a discretionary ruling you cannot you give you cannot no no no, no, no it's my turn it's my points. turn yeah, no, no, stop his no no to me no 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 don't do that I'm responding to your point okay fine go you okay. just report it's just raise the point 20 seconds extra no, restart restart restart, restart. Yeah, restart. 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 I'm just saying because to me he said a rule listen listen so now he's contradicting okay, his rule so but anyhow uh, Razi be patient be patient you raised it you landed yourself into this Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillah start again start again so it's the Hadi error cannot be uh, applied when a revelation has already come. And Mirza is speaking from Ilham that Isa alayhi salam is coming back to do all those things I mentioned. I read the quote. That means this is Ilham and all of it is Ilham because Mirza said all of this is true. All of these are haqaiq, okay, truth, factual. Uh, and uh, also, uh, this is very, very clear that Razi is playing games. He's raising questions about other prophets. You see how he defended Mirza? By attacking other prophets. Attacking prophets of Allah. Attacking Nuh. Attacking Rasulullah And we don't believe no, in any of those things. Zalim. And he's quoting X, Y, and Z. These are red herrings, distractions. Everyone needs to know. He's not addressing the point. If Mirza was mulhim to write Barahine Ahmadiyya and he said Isa is coming back, then 
Why did Mirza later on say, I'm the Messiah, Jesus is dead, he's not coming back. This is now clear contradiction. And contradictions come from liars. Mirza himself said, Tanako se kalam juto me hota hai, jhoot bolne walo me hota hai. He's a liar by his own standard. Okay, because he claims ilham, revelation. And then he changes that revelation later on because he wants, he has another plan. So this is very, very clear. These are all red herrings, all irrelevant stuff he's throwing at me. Now imagine, he's the one who wanted to discuss this topic. He brought it upon himself. He brought it upon himself. He cannot defend this topic. Okay, mote majazi. Now moth has become majazi too. Okay, when it when they get trapped, it becomes majaz, metaphorical. When when everything goes for their way, I mean, when they think things are going their way, hakiki, mutawafika is hakiki. It cannot mean majazi. If we claim that it is majazi death, which is sleep, no, 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 it's hakiki. But when a fly dies and Mirza gets caught in in the quagmire, no, 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 no. This is moth majazi. This is metaphorical death. These okay, are the stop. games these people play. Okay, look, and game over, look, topic no, over, no, 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 no more discussion over. on this. Of course, over. it's over. It's not over. Go Hear me by rules. Hear me go by rules. 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 Go by rules.